straight line graphs, perpendicular lines, midpoints, and for questions like these, a good idea is to get some sort of picture of what we're looking at. I'm just going to draw myself a bit of a sketch. It's not going to be 100% accurate, but it will let me just organize things so that I can see what's going on. Right, I have, there's my line, and that is line L1, and that's this line here. I've got a point P, crosses the y-axis, and if we look at this, we see the minus 2, and the minus 2 will tell me that point P, naught minus 2 down here, Point Q, 5 minus 3, and the first thing I need to do is I need to find a midpoint, a midpoint of PQ. So a midpoint of 0 minus 2 and 5 minus 3. Very easy to do. The midpoint is quite simply sum of the x coordinates over 2 and sum of the y coordinates over 2, the average of the points. That will give me and there we are, we have a midpoint Just pop that over to one side in case I run out of room. My next task, midpoint is complete. My next task is to find a line L2 passes through Q and is perpendicular to L1. Let's see if I can just add this to my diagram. So something of this sort. As soon as I want to find the equation of a line, I need a couple of things. The equation of a line requires requires me to always know a gradient, and it requires me always to know a point. And if I know those two things, I can just put it in the general equation. y minus the y-coordinate equals gradient x minus the x coordinate. So looking for these things, could it, well I've got a point, I've got a point Q, that's an easy one. My gradient, now my gradient relies on the fact that I'm perpendicular to L1. Now L1 has a gradient we know from here of 3 over 2 which means the gradient of my perpendicular line is opposite in sense, so plus to minus, and 3 over 2 becomes 2 over 3. And as soon as I know that, y minus minus 3 equals gradient x minus 5, and if I simply sort this out, multiply by 3, Multiply out the bracket, and 2x plus 3y, subtract the 9, equals 1. There's my equation, this is L2. And finally, I need a point of intersection. I need a point of intersection R between the two lines. So this is a simultaneous equation. I have L2 that I found and L1 that I was given.
and I'm simply going to substitute in. So with L2, I have 2x plus 3y. I will take my y from L1. So y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. And that equals 1. So I've substituted L1 into L2. And I will now sort this out. Get rid of my bracket. Double everything up. Thirteen X equals fourteen, and not a particularly nice number, but good enough. Fourteen over thirteen is my X coordinate, and so my Y is three over two. I'm going back to this one here to find that is 3 over 2 times the x-coordinate minus 2 2 is into 14 21 over 13 minus 2 and that's going to be minus 5 over 13 and so I've got my point of intersection to finish this question off X coordinate and Y coordinate. So, key points we have a midpoint, an average, equation of a line using a gradient and a point, not forgetting that a perpendicular gradient can be found out with the reciprocal and negative, and then a point of intersection, which is a simultaneous equation, to finish off.